Hello and welcome to eCommerce TV. My name is Soren Spenninglund and today we're taking a look at eCommerce 7. It's amazing. Sorry about that, I couldn't help myself. Um, so we're releasing eCommerce 7 and today we're taking a look at the new major feature of eCommerce, which is the appification of eCommerce as a platform. This is basically the next logical step in, uh, in eCommerce development, seeing as we've been able to uh, support a ton of extensions since day one of the platform. But today with eCommerce 7, this becomes even simpler to share things across solutions internally in your company or even externally with the eCommerce community itself. So the first thing eCommerce 7 uh, includes is the app platform. This is basically a further elaboration of, of what's always been there in the platform. This is the support for apps in eCommerce, which basically enables you to install a, an application into eCommerce and extend it with various plat uh, platform features. An app in eCommerce can basically do the same things that you've always been able to do in eCommerce, adding new tabs, adding new UIs, adding new tax calculations, payment methods, things of that nature. The big new thing is that the app platform enables you to package up that functionality into a nice package and share it with others. A eCommerce app has the further advantage of working across all the CMSs that eCommerce supports. So once you have your app in hand, it will actually be built against eCommerce, but not a specific content management system like Umbraco or Sitecore or something different. The advantage of that is that once you have your app, it will run on Umbraco and it will run on, on Sitecore, provided eCommerce is already installed. This means that as an app developer, you get a lot of bang for the buck when you develop an app for eCommerce because it will run across more CMSs than uh, an app developed for one or the other. And also for customers, it lets us set expectations because a customer running eCommerce will basically be able to pick any app and install it regardless of with which uh, CMS the customer works with. In addition, as new CMSs are supported by eCommerce, your app will continue to work. And so as we add more content management systems to the list of supported systems of eCommerce, app developers will see further bang for the buck and customers likewise. To help app developers get started, we have built it uh, we have built eCommerce sample app, which is basically a set of examples that show you how to build a eCommerce app. The intention here is to break down barrier, barriers getting started with app development. And so the sample app will show you a lot of the common extension scenarios, and it will also help you package up the app as a NuGet package, which is ready to install in eCommerce. The intention here is to basically let you as an app developer focus on building apps, but not all the trivia around it like packaging and uploading and all that good stuff. The sample app is open source, so you can check it out. You can see how everything is done. You can learn from it and you can use it as a foundation for new apps. You can choose to share your apps with a wider e-commerce community. And so we're launching the market, which is basically a place where you can upload your apps and where others can find it and download it and install into e-commerce. Market is a place where eCommerce will vouch for the quality of apps, so there is a curation process associated with uploading an app and releasing new versions, so we will look for things that, that need to be in order for us to approve it. The market will become the hub of apps, and actually already with V1, we have a, a set of apps available from launch, uh, seven apps in total, and we expect this number to grow as people start to use the, uh, the sample app to build more apps. As I mentioned, quality is a big part of the market and so curation is part of that as well. So with every new app, you will basically uh, be required to follow a, set, a fixed set of rules to be able to upload apps. Of course, the curation is only available for apps shared through the market. And so apps that you build for your own purposes internally in your organization will not require curation, of course. You can build apps however you want for internal use. And with that, let's take a look at the actual demo here. So I'll open up a couple of CMSs. So we have Umbraco, we have Sitecore. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sample app that I built prior to this recording, and I will install it in eCommerce so you can see what it looks like. So this is eCommerce as you know it. Uh, V7 includes new nodes here on the settings, uh, namely the, uh, the apps node, which will enable you to install a new app. So just browse to the NuGet package, 
open that, upload it, and WooCommerce will present you with some details from that app. So these are bits and bobs extracted from the app itself, and you can then install it. The installation process here is super simple in that we will only copy in files and configuration required for the app to run. Once that's done, you can actually take the installed app and move it about your installations. So if you have multiple servers that each require that same app, you can actually move it to another server and it will install itself there. So you don't actually have to go through the installation process in the CMS if you don't want to. As part of the installation process, the CMS will recycle. So picking up all the new configurations and, uh, and DLLs and whatever is included with the, uh, with the app. Once done, the app tree will uh, reload and we will now be able to see our app. So apps will install themselves under the app node here. So this will be the central repository for apps that are installed in your content management system. And the sample app basically just installs a very simple piece of UI, a little node that you can click that then brings up a little bit of information about WooCommerce. So you can see we're running WooCommerce 7.0 and we're at schema version uh, 148. So basically the database version here. Now, let me show you that one more time. This is the same app that I'm going to install in Umbraco just to prove a point. So let's open up the apps folder in Umbraco. There we go. Right, so you'll notice that I'm browsing to that same location and uploading the same file that I did before. So apps are CMS agnostic. They rely only on the app platform in WooCommerce. And so when I install it, we see the same bits and bobs of information in WooCommerce, and we can now install it. Will, it will restart like it did before. And we should be able to see the about node here in the here in section in settings and also under the apps node when that shows up. All right. So you can see the app nodes uh, showed up and we have the about uh, the about node here. And again, you'll see the 7.0 information and the schema version. So this is the same code literally running across Umbraco and Sitecore CMS. So and again, if we once we add a third CMS to the mix, it will work here. It will, of course, also work up across different versions of Umbraco and Sitecore. So Sitecore 7, uh, Umbraco 6 will also work. Of course, this is not usually the, the regular flow. What you would usually do is you would visit the market to take uh, to find the app that you need and then download and re-upload it here. But before we take a look at that, let me just show you really quickly the sample app. So the sample app is basically an open source repository that you can download from, uh, from Bitbucket. I'll make sure and include a link in the notes here so you can uh, download it. And the sample app basically shows you uh, all the extensions that the About app makes. So it creates a button, it adds a tab and some tree information. So there are code examples for, for creating basic UI. Same thing goes with pipelines and globalization and configuration. So you can see how all that works and play together. When you're ready to build your app, you basically just do it like you would always do it. You build it up and part of the sample app here will include PowerShell scripts to build up the app so you can get that package that I just uploaded. So uh, you can see here how the sample app NuGet package was created. Uh, let me just navigate to that so you can see what we are talking about. So I'll find my, my sample app. This is what you would download from the uh, from the package repository. And here you see the, the generated package with everything needed. So as an app developer, you should focus only on building your app, but not all the formalia around it. So we should have taken care of that. Right. So let me show you something different. This will be the uh, sort of the more appropriate workflow or the workflow that you would see most. So market is basically a URL. You can see there's not a ton of apps. We actually have a few waiting for curation here. So they have not been approved yet, but we do have gift cards, which is an internal app from WooCommerce that does exactly what it says. It adds gift card support to WooCommerce. It's V1 and it's built in exactly the same way as an app developer would do. So you would basically go and download the app from here. So I have a new NuGet package. Uh, gift cards, of course, is a whole new functional area of WooCommerce that does more than just add a little bit of UI here and there, it, uh, as we'll see here. So let's just upload that to, um, to our CMS so we can see how that works. So we'll go through the same process again, uh, navigate to my downloads folder, find my gift cards app, upload that. And same process as before, you can see how there's a change log added and a few other things. 
we'll install that. And again, it's the same process. But gift card basically does a few additional things to what you've seen the sample app do. So it adds new nodes, but it also extends uh, the orders area here with a new payment method, because after all, a gift card is a method of payment. It further extends the catalog editor up here so we can go and edit gift card product for sale. And the gift card editor is actually adapted to the use of the gift card itself. So it does change the look and feel of the gift card. So let's just see what happened here. So we'll navigate to the payment methods of the system. And as you can see, there's a new payment method here, and it will have a new payment method service associated with it. And that's how you would redeem a gift card. Uh, the gift card does further extensions to pipelines and things like that. But you can see here how it actually hooks into that. And with that, uh, that's a demo of the um, of WooCommerce 7, the uh, app platform, the market, the sample app. The app platform is also extended into uConnector, our integration platform. So you can also expect to see uConnector apps show up in the market as time goes on. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll speak to you soon.